Hi, it's Corrine, and today I'm sharing a custom ordered baby boy album. This is a boy's first year album, and I'm using the paper collection from Knitweight Collections called, called Babies First. I'll put a link in the description box for that. This album is seven by seven and a half, and the spine is approximately four and a half. I've used 12 pages in this album, and I love how this album turned out. Being that it is a boy album, I wanted to keep the cover very simple. I added about four layers of this cameo die cut. I did add a piece of clear cardstock and then the title that says Sweet Baby Boy. I added these adorable buttons that I cut the shanks off and sanded them down so they're flat. So I added three of the stars there and they're, they look like they're quilted. On the spine, I added this ABC along with this adorable die cut. And on the back, this comes in the, um, as one of the elements in the Knitwit collections. Uh, I'm using the bundled collection, so you get everything that comes in the collection. Of course, I'm using the paper as well. So again, this is a baby's first year. So this goes through the entire first year of the baby's birth or the baby's life. And the mom can document a photo from each month of every year. I think it's a great thing. It's easy for the mom to do because she's going to be very busy. She can simply add photos to this. If she wants, she can add journaling as well. As you can see, I used craft cardstock. I thought it went great with this collection. On the first page, I have this subway art that is a welcome to the baby. I have another one of those um, dimensional buttons here. I use some seam binding to keep it closed. And when you open it up, the mom can add several of the baby's newborn photos in here. So again, this ties up. On this first page, each page is a pocket. On this first page, I have a tag, so the mom can add either photos or journaling. And then this is the welcome baby information sheet. So the mom can just fill out the name, birth date, time, weight, add a photo on the back. And these pockets are large enough to add quite a few photos in. So that's what I would suggest that she does is add her photos to the pockets as well. Here I designed my own paper. I love using digital papers because you can customize it. This element, this cluster element comes in the collection pack. I added it to this paper and then printed it out for my pocket. I added some green enamel dots. And every single page has a pullout mat. So this is the welcome one. So this could be the baby's newborn photos, large photo mat. And let me slide that back in here. I got two mats in this one. So the next page is the baby's first month. So when you pull out the tag, it's gonna have month one. And then so on and so forth the next one's month two all the way through 12 months so i won't pull each one of those out they're all the same as far as the craft card stock so here we have this adorable elephant this was from my stash he's holding a little rattle that comes in the paper collection and then the mom can add a four by six photo to each one of these these are four and an eighth by six and an eighth so she can just add a photo to it and place it right back in here and then again add photos to each pocket. I add, added the word blessed, I had that in my stash, and then this adorable little element. I love this paper. So here's the month one. I edged absolutely everything in frayed burlap distress ink. So the mom can add how much the baby weighed, how tall the baby was, the date, and the milestones that the babies um, achieved for that month. Here's a little journaling card. I backed it on craft cardstock. The mom can, again, journal or add a photo. But let me show you these. Here are, I believe there's 12 of these. Um, the same, these are four and a half by six and a half, I believe. Let me look really quick. So these are four and a half by six, and I believe I have 12 of them of the cardstock and let me just show you how well that they fit in that pocket so it does kind of buckle the pocket a little so i wouldn't suggest that the mom puts 12 photos in each page but she could easily put four or five six if she wanted to and this is pretty heavy cardstock so the mom can add tons of photos to this album plus photos on 
you know, the back of these type of journaling cards or journaling, plus photos on this side, plus a photo on this um, pull-out mat as well. So the next one is, again, something I had in my stash, this little giraffe, little miracle. I added some of the yellow enamel dots, um, and I'm using the Nouveau Crystal Drops. They're not actually enamel dots, but they look just like enamel dots. So to this little guy, I have another of the mats so the mom can add her photo, and then another journaling card. Sometimes the smallest things take up the most room in your heart. Winnie the Pooh. On this side I have month two. And then this is from the paper collection. And then I added a label that says cute as a button. Next one has a little um, label that says a little angel. On this side I added a large word uh, baby along with the flower clusters. Or, or These are actually individual flowers and I clustered them before printing it out. Added a label here and I backed it with more cardstock so it's sturdy. To the pocket I have the three month milestone card and two journaling cards. On this side, I added this from my stash. It says 10 favorites. Here's the other photo mat, this adorable giraffe that comes in the paper collection. This is a Allie Edwards stamp. It says grateful for you. I added that along with this little elf and I had in my stash and some of the gray Nouveau drops. Added this word sweet baby. Here's the four month and the journaling card. Here is a tag that comes in the paper collection, so I added some seam binding to that. Being that this is a boy album, I really tried to keep the trims and stuff down to a minimum. I did use a little organza ribbon trim here, added a little charm that says love, added one of these paint chips, which I love that come in the Knitwick collections, perfect to add dates or just leave as decoration. Here's the five month chart, and look how beautiful that paper is, I love this paper. I love this elephant. I made him large to hold this as well, and it says precious. On this side, I used one of the large tags um, or uh, journal things and backed it on some cardstock so it's sturdy, and it says dream big, little one. Here's the six month along with another photo mat. I have the rattle here, and on this side, I used another Allie Edwards stamp that says love you so very much, added the word blessed to that, some box pleated ribbon, ri ribbon trim, excuse me, from Wild Orchid Crafts along with this heart. And in this pocket we have of course the seven month, another journaling spot, and then another one of the tags with a little seam binding. Here we have the baby bottle. On this side I added, this is one of the elements from the collection. This is from my stash. It says, love, love you little one. Added one of the labels here into this pocket. We have the eight month. I love the polka dot paper. And then this is a onesie that comes in the collection. I backed it on some cardstock. I don't wanna bend it. I'll let the mom bend it, but I did score it so the mom can fold this open, add a little photo and or just journaling on it. Great place to journal and I thought it was a cute addition. On this side I have the um, binky, another tag with some seam binding, of course the photo mat. On this, um, I had this in my stash, so I added this digital stamp on here. It says Sweet Baby. Some more of the crystal drops. The nine month and another photo mat. I love this little guy. And everything, all these were, um, I added Mod Podge to them. To the front and back cover, I added the Mod, po Mod Podge Acrylic Clear Sealer to help seal the album. Love this paper here. On this side I added this little guy. I cut him out and added him. He, so he's a little bit dimensional. He's from my stash. And then this is the label that comes in the paper collection. It says Heaven Sends. I rounded the corners on this photo mat.
and I think I'll put it in back. On this side, this little guy's from my stash. I added a bottle and I did double mat it so it's thick so the mom can use it for journaling. On this side, I added these little alpha tiles that come in the collection. It says sweet and then I added the word boy from my, coll my collection and some white enamel dots. I added the 11 month and another journaling card. And on the last page, I have a happy first birthday. The elephant is holding the balloons. I have the regular photo mat and then another journaling mat and a large pocket. This is a stamp that I had in my set. Um, happy birthday with the yellow enamel dots, a large pocket and some more journaling cards or photo mats. So I hope you've enjoyed this flip through and I really hope Debbie is happy with it. And thanks so much for watching.